Welcome to part two of a five part series on how to lose weight for a woman backed by science. If you're a guy watching this, following these tips will also help you. Link below in the description for the article. So let's rule your fitness. Tip number one is to do more cardio. When you do more cardio, you increase your activity level, you burn more calories. And if you couple that with a nice, good, balanced, nutritious diet, that's gonna even burn even more calories, so more potential for fat loss. And studies have shown that during 150 minutes to 300 minutes a week of cardio or 20 to 40 minutes a day give the best results now when you're doing cardio make sure you're challenging yourself just going under the treadmill going at 0.1 miles an hour uh, it's not going to give a, uh, the best results if that's not challenging you so make sure when you're doing cardio your heart rate's up and you're challenging yourself Tip number two is to keep a journal, track what you eat, make sure you're getting good amounts of carbs, proteins, and fats based on your needs. Make sure what you're putting into your body is nutritious, low calorie. And the saying goes, what doesn't get measured or looked after doesn't get improved. So make sure you're tracking yourself. Don't go like calorie, you know, by calorie. Just make sure it's good, adequate foods that you like and emphasis on what you like because if you don't like it, most likely you won't stick to it. Tip number three is to eat more fiber. Fiber slows down digestion and absorption, which makes you feel fuller for longer. And when you feel fuller for longer, the less that you eat, which means less calorie intake, which means more potential for fat loss. Tip number four is to practice mindful eating. Eat slowly, give your body time to, to digest the food and let it know that it's full. When you're eating, your body releases a hormone called leptin, which goes to your brain, let your brain know that, hey, we're eating, we're full. And you've probably noticed this yourself. If you've ever scarfed down food in a short amount of time, after you finish, uh, you're fine. But after a couple minutes after that, you can't move. That's left in telling your brain that, oh snap, we ate a lot of food in a short amount of time and we have to stop now. Tip number five is to snack smarter. Eat low calorie foods like your fruits, vegetables, and yogurt. Foods that are packed with fiber and protein so that way you feel satiated. Uh, you, you blunt the hunger so that way you're not eating you know, left, right, and center and sideways because the less you eat, the less caloric intake, which means more potential for fat loss. And if you're getting value out of this video, please subscribe, turn on that bell, leave a comment down below. And again, this is part two of a five part series. So again, subscribe to get, to get notified for parts three, four, and five, and go back uh, to watch part one to get more value. And here on this channel, we try to empower people at, at home and nutrition and at the gym with the goal of building muscle. And always remember to make mirrors your canvas, waste your paintbrush, sweat your paint, and may your drawing always be beautifully unfinished.